soul family it's your girl anisha i'm here with another divinely channeled message let's see what um spirit has to share with you through me all right let's see what this reading is going to entail i don't have a specific topic today so we're just gonna let spirit flow through me to you all right y'all let's see i hope y'all are doing well if you haven't done so um please like share and subscribe it definitely helps the channel out if you don't like the video, that's fine. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. But however, if it does, be sure to like, okay? And um, yeah, let's see what Spirit has to share with y'all. What is the message? The message. What is the message for the soul family? All right, y'all. Your Holy Spirit, what message do you have for the divine family? Stability. Okay. So y'all, some of y'all got some well, some of y'all. We're gonna speak to all of y'all, okay? Dear soul family, stability is coming in. Okay. So there's stability coming in. Look at all that green. That means prosperity coming in. Ooh, your wishes is coming true, y'all. Wishes is coming true. Okay, so a lot of things you you guys have been wishing and praying for is now about to come into your reality. Okay, it's going to be a lot of prosperity, in, prosperous energy around you. A lot of prosperity coming in. Your home is about to feel extremely blessed. The vibration of your home is going to be raised. Okay, so you guys are going to feel walk into the house and feel love. Even if you're coming from outside, two or two and o'clock. If you're coming from outside and the world is doing whatever the world does, as soon as you walk into your home, it's going to feel like a sanctuary. The vibration of your home is being magnified. Okay, your home is now being seen as a sanctuary to you and your family members. Okay, and for those who live alone, you might be vibrating such a frequency that you're going to be bringing a lot of beautiful high vibrational animals around. Okay, you might go outside and see more squirrels around your neighborhood. Some of y'all might have owls popping up out the blue. Okay, when you see owls, I let you know higher wisdom, higher wisdom uh, information is uh, presented. It's, is being presented to you and is um, um, coming into your reality soon. Okay, um, this information that that that's coming in for you is gonna be is gonna be unseen to the naked eye. Okay, so basically you might be moving throughout your day not seeing um, the examples or the reflection of this information. However, internally you're gonna feel this wisdom coming up and through you. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm hearing hidden wisdom. So yeah, the wisdom that, that you are holding within your home, within your, I'm hearing house body. So within your physical body, your physical vessel is holding a lot of um, hidden wisdom also. And that hidden wisdom is going to bring you stability once you uh, connect to it and begin to share it. Okay. Harvest. I'm hearing harvest. You have a harvest coming in, y'all. You have a lot of y'all have been saving as well. So for those who have been saving, maybe you've been saving to buy a home. You know, maybe you've been just been saving for rainy days. However, um, your savings are is about to be in, enhanced. Okay, or you're about to be ready to um, spend your savings on what you've been saving for. Okay, and that's what you're going to spend it on is going to bring you even more stability. So some of y'all might be buying a home soon. You have been saving for a long time for, for a home, and now that property is going to come into your reality, and you're going to be able to spend um, your savings, which you've been saving on that property, on that home, on that land. And that there is going to bring you stability because now it's yours, okay? It's your own. What else do you have for the collector? What else do you have for the soul family? I just heard, are you taking care of your home? So some of y'all might need to just put a little bit more effort and energy in your home. So your home can be, um, uh, it can attract more things for you. So when, when that comes to me, it lets me know some of y'all might need to release some things that's in the home or around the home. Some of y'all might need to garden. Some of y'all might need to uh, declutter. 
okay so you can raise the vibrational frequency around your home the magnetic field the magnetic vibration around your home is going to be risen however you need to clear out what is calling density that's around okay you need more open space the vib vibrationally you need to clear out what's clear the junk out that's what's basically has been channeled through clear out some of the stuff that you've been holding on to around your home so therefore your vibration of your home can be magnified and you can attract more to you okay we got peace and chaos okay we got double owl so there's a lot of information that's coming in that hasn't been seen, but this information is going to come in from a night seer. So basically, um, that gives me the intuition. That gives me people who you ha might have connected to you that know some information that you're not you're not privy to just yet. They're going to bring in information. They're going to bring in the light. They're going to bring in um, some something. Somebody is going to bring in some information, some light to you, so you can be um, enlightened on what's hit with what's been hitting hidden this information this empowering powerful information this information might be some for some of y'all this information might really be the last call for certain things okay i'm seeing the beating of the drum where it's like this is it do 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 like that information is going to be kind of like oh shitty shitty bang bang what is this but it's just no peace uh, chaos and peace go hand in hand. Okay, this card reads peace and chaos. Okay, so when this information, this hidden information, I will see, I will see in the dark. They can see everything in the dark. They nocturnal. Okay, so they're they're peeping game on what's what's not being seen in the light. So when they're bringing in the light, I mean, this information is about to come into your reality. Okay, and when this information comes into reality, the, so the trumpet ain't gonna sound, but the beat, the, the drum about to be be um, beat on. Okay, so that's gonna be some heavy information for some of y'all. Some of y'all, it might be some information that you've been waiting on. Like finally, let's celebrate. Okay, it could be either or, either either polar polarity. Okay, but just know that you stand ready, you stand protected, you stand in your authority, no matter what the what in the spectrum it is but just know this information is coming in it's coming in all right you know what to do with this information too i am the tiger okay you know what to do with it you know how to move once this information is given to you you know exactly what moves to make you're not about to be out there just like shocked and oh my god I'm appalled no you're gonna know exactly what to do and how to um, how to move forward some of y'all have been waiting on this information to move forward yep look yeah you've been waiting some of y'all been waiting because you know what to do you hold the ultimate you hold the ultimate flame in your hand. The power is in your hand with these situations. You've just been being patient and waiting for the opportunity to make a final decision. Okay. Now, since you have this, has now that you have been enlightened, you know exactly. Okay. Now it's time for me to go forward. Look at this owl. This owl brings forward the information into your crown, into your mind, into your understanding, into your consciousness. Okay. What was hidden? The hidden information is now bringing, being brought to you, and it's going to illuminate your understanding. Okay, and now you're gonna know exactly where to where to I'm gonna say charge your flame, <laughs> where to where to move, where to move your passions towards. Okay, this says build and destroy, build and destroy. You're gonna know exactly what to keep and what to get rid of. You're gonna know exactly what to let go, so you can go ahead and, and make a new rebuild. There has to be peace before chaos. There has to be uh, chaos in order for you to rebuild. Because when chaos happens, things are destroyed, and when, once things are destroyed, it's time to rebuild. Okay? These things go hand in hand. Okay? This is regarding a, a home dynamic. Okay? That's fine. We got a lot of dualistic energy out here. So a lot of y'all are coming into balance. This season is a season of balance for real, y'all. Okay? So we got yin yang. Let's see if I put it in there. We've got yin yang. 
okay that's off top letting you know balance is coming in masculine and feminine positive and negative up and down smells around around and around <laughs> you have um you have some balance coming in your life okay two opposites are coming together to make a whole here okay now look at this look at how you're shining now that you know this information or whatever this is and you're, you're, that you have been enlightened about now you're about to shine you're about to illuminate and transform this information is bringing in illumination and transformation and bringing in wholeness for you whatever this is it's going to bring so much transformation illumination and information to you okay even if it's going to be a challenge we all we all should be welcome and challenge because that's how we evolve that's how we adjust that's how we build more character that's how we get to another uh, aspect of our own inner power our own inner truth okay peace be with you because guess what you have look at you holding peace in challenging times the bird is calling out oh my gosh look out look out woo -dee -woo, woo -dee -woo. however this bird is letting you know that there's new life coming in and you know it is because you're at peace you got some things coming in for you it might look challenging because what's around you might be bare however it's coming in from look the fruits of your labor you have pentacles coming in. You have value coming in. You have financial gain coming in. Okay? This bird is letting you know some shit is coming in. Look at this life on this on this branch here. Underneath that branch there's nothing there. This this branch is this bird is standing on prosperity for you. This bird is letting you know, hey, what was wiped out needed to be wiped out. Cause now we're about to rebuild anew. We're rebuilding anew now don't don't be dismayed it's all good and you're like i'm not my friend i'm not i've been sitting here <laughs> standing on business okay <laughs> you've been standing on business you've been standing there in your in your meditative pose holding your own weight you're not worried about no challenge because you hold your own weight honey okay and like we said, that's going to bring transformation. Whatever this experience is, whatever this information is, it's evolving you. Okay? You're not even in the cocoon no more. You are metamorphic. You're in your metamorphosis. One, two, one on the clock. Your metamorphosis has already taken place. Now it's just time to fly. You've come into wholeness. You've been through the shadow side. You've been through the light side. Okay? Your moon and your sun is coming together into wholeness now. You know who you come from. You know you're part of the all. Now you're transforming your awareness to a conscious all awareness. You're coming out of the, the I am self-awareness to the I am all awareness. That's powerful. Hmm. Shape-shifting energy coming in. You are about to really stand in your power. Look at that sun within you. You're about to really stand in your power. Your, your, your rings is about to transform into, to, uh, I mean, your, your, your bird, oh, goodness, your butterfly wings is about to transform into bird wings, into angel wings, into, yeah, you about to take, fly high and carry beautiful messages. You about to shine, shape shift, move about to move into new territory. You about to move into new aspects of yourself. Prosperity is coming in for you and you about to evolve, honey. The evolution is here. Last but not least, prosperity, bae prosperity coming in you've already shape-shifted look at once you once this information comes in you know okay now I'm, I'm good the challenge is nothing to me the challenge is nothing because I'm already standing on my own two feet not even not even your two feet you gangster with it you next level with it okay <laughs> you are a next level individual because in the day you're not even standing on your own two feet you're balancing on one you're holding your own weight you don't even need to use your two feet to stand up tall you don't even use, you use your two feet to stand in balance. Your balance comes with, with just being true within. You have, you're have centered. No matter whether you're on two feet or one, you're already centered. Okay? So this bird coming in letting you know. This bird coming in letting you know there's a message. Look, as I said that, as I said, this bird coming in letting you know there's a message. The mailman just came through and threw some mail in the mail hole. Ain't that something? Look, y'all. Uh, ain't that something? 
Yep, it's a message coming through, y'all. It's about to be a message that's coming through, y'all. And as this message comes through, it's gonna be good news. This good news is about to transform you. And this transformation is bringing you to a whole different level of self-awareness. You're about to realize how divine you are. You're about to realize I stand in true power. I am part of the all. And I'm about to bring my, my aspect of the all to this world, okay? And in that, that uh, self-awareness, you moving in your own self-awareness like that, in your own authority, in your own self-knowing, that I am connected to the divine. I move with divine power within me, outside me. It's going to bring in so much prosperity for you. Look at your coins. Your coins is coming in. You're moving in the wind. Look at this. Look at this abundance. And then not only that you not only that you're gonna reap this abundance, you're gonna share it with the world. This look at this apple is of the world, honey. And you are handing it over. Like here, I can share what I have with y'all. Because I already see the truth. Okay? You have been given the stork has dropped off your abundance to you. So you know it is best to share. It's best to give than it is to receive. So you have received this abundance. Now you want to share it back. Okay? That is beautiful, y'all. That is beautiful. Unlike energy, methods. You have your own way of doing things. It's time for you to do it. You have your own methods. You use your own special modalities on how to use your beautiful, beautiful uh, wisdom. Your beautiful conscious awareness your beautiful brain okay your beautiful essence you have your own way of sharing that with the world so sit with yourself connect in with yourself your higher self and say okay higher self what are we gonna do how are we gonna give it to the folks the time is now and then go ahead some of y'all might be giving yourself y'all beautiful um, talents out online some of y'all might be doing this virtually that's all good. Shoot. I love that, John. That was cute. <laughs> that was cute. That's how my daughter said cute. She'd be like, ooh, that's cute. That is. I love that, y'all. All right. I'm going to pull one more, though, to go with this. Let's see. Spirit, what else you have for the collective? What divine message do you have for the collective, Spirit? What does the soul family need to hear? What does the soul family need to hear? Oh, we, to be honest, they said that's that for that. That's that for that, y'all. That's that for that. That our energy is, is very strong. That divine hidden information is very strong, okay? So you, well, this card raises, it says, use your best judgment when this information comes to you, okay? Insight into, insight into the nature of physical objects give you foresight, okay? So look into the physical objects that surround you, okay? It's going to assist you with your foresight, assist you with seeing things more clear and seeing things before they even happen. Pay attention to the signs around you, okay? It's going to help you foresee what's coming into your reality. And use your best judgment because your wisdom is within you and that thing is sharp, okay? Woo! Ow, ow, and ow, honey. Go ahead. I'll set that right there like that. Mm. All right. I hope this message finds y'all in the highest vibration of love and light. Y'all be well. Continue to stay blessed. And prosperous okay and uh if you haven't done so so far go ahead and like share and subscribe the video y'all make sure y'all subscribe all right love y'all